realized the transmission was just acting a little funny. I got the cap out and this is what it looks like. The whole carb part. We're at the market on Fridays. So our toilet doesn't really work anymore. Yesterday when we were doing some maneuvering out in the bay, we uh, realized the transmission was just acting a little funny. Um, it was going into gear fine, but it seemed almost like it was slipping or not quite acting the way it should be at higher RPM. We already topped up the transmission fluid earlier, but we realized that uh, our forward gear wasn't dropping in all the way. So after we had topped it up, it took uh, a little bit you know, a couple more tries forward and back, just testing it out before it actually dropped all the way. So now after we've come back, I started the engine a little bit to let it get up to operating temperature as per the, what the manual said. And now uh, we're just checking the oil again and it seems like it's dropped down a little bit. So maybe there was like some, uh, some air where there was meant to be oil and now it's kind of filled in the, those gaps. So we're just gonna top it up a little bit. It's really not missing much, so just like very little. Um, and if this doesn't solve it, maybe we'll try changing the oil. The other thing it could be is the uh, linkages or the cable for the control arm. But it seems like it's got the full range of motion that I, I'd expect it to. So we're gonna start with this. Sorry. Like my feet? This is kind of the best way to get in here with my head facing this way. Over there I can kind of rest my head on the, the poop tank here, uh, which isn't the nicest, but it works. But over on this side I kind of have to put my feet up because I'm just too tall to shove my feet underneath my butt here. So uh, this is the way it has to work. It kind of leaks, so that's not really good. So we'll try to replace this while it's sunny for the next two days. I'm going to try to take this off and replace it with a new one. I got the cap out and this is what it looks like. It actually pretty much just popped right off because the sealant, the caulking is kind of it's in bad condition. So we're gonna be putting a brand new one that we can actually see through. So it's gonna add some light where the rudder is also, which is pretty awesome. I managed to build our radar reflector. So in the Great Lakes, you're supposed to have one just because there's a lot of traffic, especially that we're right next to the Welland Canal. So there's a lot of huge ship just traveling back and forth over there. So now I'm gonna see how I'm supposed to install this outside. I think I'm gonna attach it to the spreaders. We've got some little loops. So let's go have some fun outside. Going up the pole. I'm gonna check out some of the uh, some of the instruments at the top. Get rid of some of the spider webs up there, and uh, climb the mast for the first time because it's gonna be fun. Sort of, I think. <laughs> we got double safety here, so I don't know if you can see. I got my uh, a borrowed bolson chair because we didn't have one, and. Uh, I'm not trusting these things. I mean, they're probably fine. They can hold the sail up, but uh, all it would take would be for me to accidentally pull on this or get that caught somewhere, and then all of a sudden I'm loose. So instead, I'm tying a figure eight, and that will, I'll trust that a lot more. Corey climbed up 47 feet in the air to go retrieve the wind instrument that wasn't working. Ah! We got our instrument all taken apart. We figured it was pretty much done for anyway. Uh, from our research, we have the very first wind instrument that Horizon Standard has ever made. But I don't plan, I don't think we're gonna be able to get our old one working. Uh, we weren't even able to find a manual for it because it just doesn't, doesn't exist anymore apparently. So we got the car part undone here. We got our little float here, which is moving like it should. I expected to see a metal float here, so I almost thought I wasn't at the car, but I'm pretty sure this is the part that stops and starts the uh, gas flow. Just wanted to make sure it was all clean and the float was working properly, which it seems to be. 
Then I'm going to undo the spark plug on the other side down here and just make sure I'm getting spark. We'll get the spark plug undone over here and we're just going to pull the cord and uh, rest the spark plug against the metal here and we're gonna see hopefully a spark. unsuccessful try of trying to get this uh, motor running. I got pretty much completely disassembled. Here's the carb actually. Um, I found the flap I was looking for. If you can see in there, that's the, the, the one that allows you adjust your throttle with that one. So there's the choke right there. So air intake here clogged with spider uh, nests. So yeah, we're gonna give it a good clean with some carb cleaner and make sure everything looks right. We also have a flap on this side here. This is for your throttle control here. Now I'm just gonna take it back apart where I took it apart where the float was and check the injector. The whole carb apart, we have the float that's supposed to stay at the bottom of the carb and as the little thing, the little base in here fills up, it goes up and stops the flow of gas. But I'm not getting any gas into the actual inside of the carb where it mixes with the air because of this thing. This is my little injector here. And this is supposed to I'm supposed to be able to see through that. It's completely clogged with crud and all sorts of stuff. So uh, gonna clean that out. Probably pick up some carb cleaner, and hopefully we'll be running very shortly. We're at the market on Fridays and uh, right now I'm having my first thing from the market, chocolate croissant. It's delicious, but it's really messy. Um. <laughs> Could we get a mix of it? Six for five? They were so good last night. The ring of fire. What are you eating there? I am eating some awesome samosas from the market. There's lots of really, really good, lots of great produce, wine, everything you need. So we just got back from the farmer's market here in Port Colburn. And it was awesome. It was super good. We ended up tasting a lot of different samples, which kind of forces you to buy a lot of stuff because everything is really tasty. Mm. We got a bunch of awesome strawberries. They're like super juicy, fresh. Got some zucchinis. I'm really excited because we even find a local vineyard. So I will get some uh, red wine and tomorrow I'm gonna have a Riesling delivery to the sailboat. <laughs> because finally the people are in the sailboat right over there. Calbrest, kind of jerky. Oh, oh. It was off. Oh, it was just so much good stuff. And the butter tarts. Oh, they're amazing. Flaky goodness. That's, yeah, flaky goodness. Garlic heads, tomatoes, radishes, green onions, fresh roasted the coffee, awesome nuts. There's that girl that um, rolls like a bunch of different types of nuts with different flavors if you want. We ended up eating some samosas. Like there's just so many good, 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 awesome stuff. So our toilet doesn't really work anymore. It just keeps back flowing. So at first I thought it might have been the vent that was all plugged up, which actually was the case. I was just like digging into that and trying to unplug the hole because apparently some stuff 
backflowed once into the vent holes. So anyways, that didn't quite fix the issue. So now I'm gonna get my hands real dirty and start attacking the toilet and taking it apart and seeing if I've got to change some valves. We've got two spare parts for it, which one came with the boat and one we bought. So if this doesn't fix the problem, I'm probably gonna throw throughout the whole toilet because there's more stuff that we would need to replace, like hoses. And if I start spending too much money on this, I'd rather have a different type of toilet, which isn't as old as the boat. So I did open up the toilet and I was saying how I wouldn't get an extra valve because we had two well it turns out there's three different valves in the toilet. I have two of the three here so here's the extra one. So the one I pulled out is kind of all destroyed. I get that stripping. Gross. That's disgusting. <laughs> so, so we're gonna put a brand new one and there's also another one that's pretty disgusting that I'm gonna replace. So hopefully all of this works because if not she's going in the garbage. And somebody should be wearing gloves but isn't. Yeah. Joker valve installation down there. Putting our toilet back together. She is now a professional toilet plumber for marine toilets. Oh, I see.